Good morning. Today is Wednesday, October 30th, and this is Woodman I Am. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please remain standing for a moment of silence. Please be seated. Here are today's announcements. Greenwood will host Bedford North Lawrence this Friday. All people attending will be required to have a ticket, including students. Again, you can get a pre-sale digital ticket or a digital ticket at the gate. For this game only, the South Gate will be used, and students will enter through this gate. Service club members who are helping with tonight's trunk or treat should plan to arrive at the bus garage located between the middle school and Freedom Springs by 5.45 p.m., but any member who gets there closer to 5.30 p.m. to help set up would be great. Also, Service Club will have a meeting tomorrow during Power Hour 2. Choir Council is hosting a spooky song sing-along tomorrow in the choir room during Power Hour 2. Come join the fun, grab a snack, sing your heart out, or just relax and enjoy the Halloween classics. You do not have to be in choir to join in. Buddies is having a spooktacular Halloween party tomorrow after school from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. in Mrs. Williams' room. Winterization is a volunteer opportunity on Saturday, November 16th, when GHS staff and students will help winterize homes for elderly Greenwood residents. Usually we rake leaves and have a great time with free breakfast and free lunch too. Sign up during lunch or in room C-118. By Indiana law, Greenwood High School needs to share information about our government and voting with the student body, and the administration asked the broadcast team to handle this over the course of five different broadcast segments. Here's the third one. This year as the election approaches, people will start showing their support at the polls. So we wanted to show you the different parties, the candidates, and what they stand for. The Democratic Party claims to support a mixed economy, a progressive tax system, higher minimum wages, social security, universal health care, and subsidized housing. Whereas the Republican Party claims to stand for lower taxes, gun rights, government conservatism, free market capitalism, free trade, and the opposition of illegal immigration. In this year's election, the Democratic Party nominated Vice President Kamala Harris, and the Republican Party nominated former President Donald Trump. Remember that if you were 18, November 5th is a big day for you. Make sure to cast your vote if you were able. That concludes today's announcements. I'm KT. And I'm Emma. Have a great day.